Hello, this is Pastor Matthew Woods uh, from Grace Lutheran Church, and this is the daily devotion for October 26, 2020. Um, good morning. <laughs> it's good to be with you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I want to start by saying thank you to all of you who have been asking and uh, about uh, the newlyweds, Kyle and Michaela. Um, they're doing well. Um, they uh, hope to take a honeymoon at some point when they don't have school or a lot of work to get done. But uh, uh, they're grateful to be married and grateful, uh, thanks be to God, it's it's done. Um, but I want to thank all of you for praying for them and, and uh, uh, wishing them well and uh, for looking out for them. We appreciate that very much. Um, I also want to thank uh, all of you for um, thinking about my mom. Who, of course, as some of you know, she's been fighting the cancer. She's had her third treatment now and... Uh, uh, She's holding her own, but she's pretty weak. I want to I want to thank you all for uh, um, uh, praying for her and thinking about her. Uh, she's been busy sporting her knitted caps, by the way, Jackie, and and uh, working hard to keep her strength up. But uh, so far, so good. So halfway through, she's eager to get it behind her, and um, uh, I just ask that you continue to to pray for her as the uh, as the con things continue and progress. So uh, in the meantime, thank you again uh, for that. And a special thank you to Jackie for the, the knitted hats. Well, today we've titled our devotion, The Right Advice. So let's talk about advice. By the time you view this, I will have undergone my very first colonoscopy. Uh, I was ready to do it back in March, but we all know what happened back then when COVID came in and shut it all down. Um, <laughs> but what was funny is that the mention, the mere mention of the procedure seemed to evoke a lot of reaction. <laughs> it all starts off with this question. Is this your first one? And of course, I answer yes, because well, I hit the big 5-0 last November. <laughs> but uh, lucky me, right? Uh, well, then comes the smiles and the occasional chuckle and then a story about the person's personal experience. Uh, for example, one person said, it went great for me. And another person said, yeah, it's no problem. Uh, once you get it behind you, you're, you're good. So generally it, it goes pretty well, but um, I, I had all kinds of advice though that came with it. You should really fast about two days before while another one said, you should eat, eat a lot so that you have something to actually pass besides water uh, to make it worth it, I guess. Um, and how about the fluids? Well, one experienced voice said to me when it, when it uh, comes to that really sweet solution, uh, just drink it down. Don't sip it. Just get it down and do it, do it quickly. Another experienced voice also suggested that I mix it all with lemonade or something. But I had numerous other stories. And with each story, I got a little piece of advice on how to deal with it. I started having a lot of fun with it, too, frankly. Thank you to all of you who cared enough for me to offer the advice, though. And the best part is, is that when you summarize what was said, uh, it is clear that it all came out all right in the end. Well, Scripture has a lot to say about getting good advice from reliable people, from people that care. In Proverbs 26, uh, 24, 6, for instance, it says, Wise guidance with wise guidance, you can wage for your war, and in an abundance of counselors, there is victory. But I think Proverbs 2 makes a very important distinction about getting advice and discernment, learning and applying what you've learned. And that's the key here. It says, My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as silver and search for it as hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He, <clears throat> he is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of, of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what the right what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart. Here it is. Notice this. For wisdom will enter your heart 
Knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. Let me premise my next thoughts with a word of warning to those who are quick to give advice. I remember reading somewhere, and I wish I could remember where, a need is not necessarily an invitation um, and a problem doesn't always have a solution. Not everything is meant to get fixed by you. Instead, remember to listen more than to speak. Weigh the matter carefully before you speak as an expert on something. And remember, um, helping others is not about you. Now let's go back to the proverb just for a minute. The proverb is telling us to seek wisdom when it can be found, especially God's wisdom, the word. I still enjoy learning from those who have much to teach me, especially the 90-somethings, the, the old ladies who have read and reread scriptures over and over again and have memorized large portions of it. It's gotten into them. It's saturated them. Uh, and they are my favorite favorite people to be talking with um, when it comes to, to the, how it applies to life because they've lived some life, and I like that. My favorite professors are those little old ladies. <clears throat> and so it makes it a lot of fun to talk to them and learn from them because um, they always have something to offer. But Proverbs 2 is not just advice. It is God teaching us about wisdom. Seek the Lord where he may be found, we are told, right? Sometimes that is found in people that have lived a long, long enough and been around long enough uh, or longer than us, in fact, or been involved with experiences that we haven't been involved, but those are the people that we can gain from. For instance, how many of us parents try to teach our children about mistakes in life that we have in the back of our minds we made, we wish we could have avoided when we were younger. We do this because we have lived it, right? We want them to know that experience. Whether they're not, a, we, we just want them to have it. We're eager for them to, to know that wisdom. And this, this is how it is for, with the Lord. He's eager for us to know um, the wisdom that he has so that we would avoid the hazards of life. We know what direction something might go as a parent uh, because we've been there and done that. Same thing with the Lord. He can see the path ahead and where it might lead. So it's good to listen. But we don't always do that, of course, right? Uh, especially when we're younger. Ultimately, good advice takes us in the direction of godly advice. When the proverb says, store up God's commands, it advises that godly advice works best when it is integrated into your life, when faith turns into action, when it becomes a part of you, like the, the word does for those little old ladies who read and reread it. It gets in you, it becomes a part of you. In the end, wisdom that comes from experience, when combined and tempered with God's word, will be, uh, we will It'll, it'll equip us. It'll make us better equipped for discerning uh, and for knowing how and where to apply the advice we have been given. Literally, to take someone else's experience and integrate that experience into our, our own, to make it ours, for the purpose of a deeper faith, ultimately, is the goal, of course, and maybe deeper relationships with our spouses, with our neighbors, and ultimately with our Savior, God willing. So it says... Seek it as silver or as treasure hidden. Then you will be able to know what is right and fair. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. See, when you put this all together, wisdom will keep your backside out of trouble, but it will also lead you in a direction that will benefit, profit, and bless you, especially in the Lord. From buying the right car to to uh, knowing how to care for a sick member of the family, to experiencing your full first colonoscopy, you name it. All of those things will find um, that wisdom will benefit whatever is going on in your life. And so seek the advice, especially from God, but from godly people, from people who've lived a little bit, or maybe have experienced things that, that we haven't entered into yet, and know that that path has been walked before, a path that can help you also find your way. And so that's the, the advice I have for today. As we close things out, just a few announcements just to remind you about the turkey supper coming up. Uh, we still need lots of help and hands and folks that would be willing to help us guide the traffic, for example, outside, uh, help us prepare things the week before. 
and certainly we would we would ask for that help. Uh, that's probably the big one coming up now, um, and uh, and uh, you know we we hope to get your help on that. But in the meantime, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with His favor and forever and always give you His peace in Jesus. I'm Pastor Woods. Have a great week. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.